Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It has been super hot and everything's just crazy in the world. Been working a lot. Actually, I took a lot of vacation. Been keeping on working on the actual model room here and everything like that. So I've been doing a lot of modeling and stuff on the inside. So I'm going to show some of you guys uh, that stuff today. Hopefully you, you like it. There went a cat. By the way, guys, if you want to see more of what is going on with my modeling, you can go ahead and check me out on Instagram right here. I put a lot of, I'm going to be putting a lot of modeling pictures and stuff like that. Try not to flood this big channel as well. Also, you can look and subscribe to my modeling channel specifically down in the link below. I'll be putting stuff on there that I don't put on here. But I just kind of want to show some of the cool stuff that I'm working on to some of my, you know, subscribers that hang out here every once in a while. So we'll see you guys here in a second. So we're starting off here with my big bench here that has my X Max and stuff on it. Over here, this is pretty much all drone stuff and more RC car stuff up there you can see computer 3d printer and then this is where all of the model magic is happening we've got the airbrush booth we've got everything else going on here added in lots more shelves and stuff like that you can see so i have more room to put all of my stuff and also we're going to have to address this one of these days to figure out where to put extra models and everything else so speaking of that there is my 11000 scale TOS Enterprise, very dusty as you can see, that I built a few years ago on the channel. And that is what we are gonna be talking about today. This kit right here, this has been the hottest kit that's been out, came out a couple months ago. We've got that, we've got the lighting kit, we've been working on the X-Wing, so let's get to the video. So this is what the kit's looking like right now. I am in a stage where i finally got everything assembled got a few parts still over in the spray booth that i've got to paint up a little bit then we're going to get started on the detailing and weathering process of this thing this 148 scale kit is super awesome it's got some moving articulating wings which is pretty cool proton torpedoes that you should be able to see fire in right there the engines are also lit up which is pretty cool so we're going to be working on that getting this thing all finished up it's going to be really awesome when it is done now of course this is the main star of the video here this is the one 1000 scale of the pike enterprise from star trek discovery now i have a one 1000 scale tos build that i did Oh, I don't know, a few years ago. I'll put a uh, picture up of it uh, right now so you can take a look at that. Uh, but this kit here, people have been ranting and raving about. It's been out for about a month or two. Um, I also picked up their lighting kit, which will give us motors in the Bussards that will spin around, give us really cool lighting effect. I've also picked up a few extra lights to do things myself. I usually light everything myself and I don't buy a prepackaged kit like this, but this is pretty nice since it comes with uh, the board and it comes uh, battery operated and also with those actual motors. So that way we can get uh, some of that cool spinning action. So this is gonna be cool adding in some of the extra flare. Uh, looks like the nav lights and stuff like that don't glow very well. So we're gonna be changing those. So the kit itself is basically built for lighting. So a lot of people have been talking about just how easy this thing is to put together and everything else like that. So it's really great that they finally at Polar Lights round two have took the time to build a kit that is ready to go. They've got that light kit. And this thing for a 1,000 scale kit is 18 inches long. And if we open it up here, you're going to be able to see just how large this thing is. It's pretty crazy uh, how big it is compared to some of my other ones. Um, it comes with the usual round two stand, which we may or might may not be using. I'm not 100% sure on that. Get this box out of the way here. 
Here are the two pieces of the saucer. And you can see that there is a lot of detail inside there as far as grid lines and patterns and stuff like that. I The only thing I don't have on this kit yet is the Aztec decal set that is on back order right now. So we're waiting on that to come in. And once that comes in, we'll be able to finish everything up. More than likely, I'll probably get that before I get this all finished up. A lot of clear parts. They're using these clear parts now to actually diffuse and move light throughout the model, which is a really great idea. So we'll be using most of these and kind of frosting them over them with some like uh, clear white, uh, just a little bit to kind of help diffuse and make things move a lot better. But it's really, really nice and detailed. This is gonna be just super great. And then of course, inside here, we have the secondary hull, the pylons, which are super stout and will not move. And we have the nacelles. So lots of stuff in here. We've got a few decals. We've got a few decals in here, which I'm not gonna open up, but there's just registry marks and the insignias. And then here is a look at the manual. The manual is supposed to be really laid out well, not a single issue as far as a typo or anything like that. So the modeling community has really been going uh, bonkers over that and how everything is. So you can see just great detail and everything going on with these telling exactly how to do. And there is supplemental pages that will come inside the actual lighting kit itself. Opening up and taking a look at the lighting kit, here is the actual supplemental instructions that will show you how to go ahead and wire all of this up. Really detailed, lots of forethought that I've seen that's put into this. Um, you can see it's labeled 8.1 right here. And what it says is you do step eight of the model and then you come into here and you do step 8.1. So that is really cool and nice to see. And here is the lighting kit itself. All of these LEDs that are daisy chained, plug and play. We've got the actual battery pack. We've got parts that are clear and they are colored. So we've got red for the Bussards and we've got some blue and stuff like that. Not 100% sure if I'm gonna use these or if I'm gonna do mine orange. I guess we'll wait and see how that goes. And then in here are the actual motors that are gonna go inside the nacelles and the board. This board actually just sets in the secondary hull and all the wires just come back and plug into this. Uh, it's all pretty thin wire. Um, even though I might uh, chop some of this wire up and go ahead and use uh, magnet wire in some places because I have seen that you can get uh, some of your windows blocked and everything when using that. So we'll have to see how that goes once we get into the actual build. So again, guys, if you want to just see modeling content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below, Mighty Scale Models. Check out the Instagram as well. And from time to time, I'll put some stuff up here on the Dorky and 40 channel. So until then, thanks a lot, guys, and we will see you next time.